girl has been uh, on behalf of the Pakistan Embassy and uh, Pakistan is here by welcoming you all to Oman and uh, let me tell you at the outset that it's very seldom that I don't know whether Dr. Faisal has told you it's very seldom that we who serve abroad get to find a group of 16 or 18 gentlemen or ladies who we think are intellectually gifted and who we think uh, represent Pakistan's state structure in one way or the other. And when that happens, a person like me, this is the only thing which I changed in Thrasher's program. I wanted to talk to you. Uh, instead of just doing a hala gula lunch and going back, I wanted to talk to you and also learn, learn, learn about you. Before, uh, before, I was in Barcelona for this and uh, I also, uh, my regards to the, to the officers of the, of the friendly countries, of the right countries, thank you for joining us. Uh, I, I can make out from the uniform, but thank you very much. It's, it's an honor to have uh, all of you here for One apology is that this, uh, my talk was Pakistan based and it's, it's based on what I felt and it's very informal, it's from the heart, it's not out of any text and if anything, if you feel that anything is jarring or something, it's, it's not intended to be that. For the Pakistani elite audience, I call it elite because, because of what's in the mind and also because of our friendly countries. It's an intellectually honest discourse. I have not taken things out. I prepared it last time. So what this is about is that there are two things which I found are very deficient. Uh, before going to Barcelona, I was in Civil Services Academy in Hall, and I spent two years there. What you will all be surprised at is that the word kindness, the word humanism, the word compassion is absent from the syllabus of the civil service, which it should have been article number one everywhere. I instituted awards for kindness and God knows what, rewrote the syllabus and before my plane went off to Barcelona, the changes started being reversed. Officers come, rocks up in four wheelers nowadays. They they come in heavy duty vehicles and all that. This is one thing that I felt uh, humanism is lacking. The other thing is that uh, it's, it's, it's very tragic that there is no consensus about what Pakistan is. You can be surprised how Pakistan is created. Everybody has a different version. What is Pakistan's narrative? What is Pakistan's history? History is important because your present depends on your history. Uh, history determines what you are. Just arranged, just an, just some thought-provoking points here. And I'd love to love to take, take questions from you later on, if at all you feel like questions, because in the Oman heat and imbibing the, the Kaaba and the Halba everywhere, it becomes very difficult. Challenging. This was my office. This we just changed for you. Uh, next, 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 next. Why is a narrative of a state important? Uh, it's important because others judge you. Others judge you because of it. If there is community <coughs> in your own state's narrative, and what I'm going to discuss here is the questions which I and Dr. Faisal probably face every day from people who don't know that much about Pakistan. Next. Okay, so, so do states hide their reality or do states lie about themselves? They do. The problem is that we don't realize that. The other thing I want to tell you is that this element of dismay that has been compounded in the past three or four months and maybe in the past some years 
is not exactly relevant as far as Pakistan is concerned. But in many things, it, it's just we have just imbibed dismay about everything. It's my contention and my humble contention that Pakistan does not have to exaggerate anything in its history and in its present to cast a negative narrative or to cast a lying narrative. It's a very big statement to make and it means that we've done most things right whereas we believe that we've done many things not correct. But that's my next. <laughs> One question is, who shapes Pakistani or Pakistan's narrative? Usually we pass the work on to other people. All of us think that it's probably in the hands of the university professors, or it's in the hands of students, or it's the hand of some journalists. Whereas we ourselves, and by we I mean the civil services of Pakistan, because I represent that, and the armed forces of Pakistan, are the strongest elements in the state that can shape Pakistan's narrative. It's us, but unfortunately, I can speak very confidently about the civil services. We are not into it. We, we pass day to day businesses. Next, <coughs> we. Next. And this might sound very dramatic to you, but you have to bear Pakistan on the sleeve or on the heart, just like lovers or other things. Because we cannot pass the buck for defending Pakistan to other people. Again, a very humble suggestion. Might be right, might not be right. Next. We have failed miserably. We have not failed in any other sphere of life except telling the world what Pakistan is. Commonly, uh, I am referring to Faisal again and again because both of us do the same thing. If somebody goes to Pakistan from Europe, usually they come back, sir, and they say, we want to meet you. And they bring Karachi ki sweets up ke laate hai, jisko apisa rai. Wo kya kehta hai? Kehta hai, yaar, mein is mulk mein gaya hon, toh jo kuch mein is mulk mein dalik suna tha, ye toh ulta hai. Mein, I'm sorry, I had the wrong ideas. So, where does the responsibility for the wrong ideas lie? With us not with the Hamid Mears or, or others. We had to do it. Next. And uh, I don't know whether there has been a lecture on the disinfo leaks thing, EUK, whether you started it in India. You cannot realize, I know friendly countries, you cannot realize, I never thought Till those four journeys in Europe, they found out the anti-Pakistan operation, the anti-Pakistan operation, the intellectual operation. Fifteen years, mirrors, kashmir, to bowls, etc. So what they do is, there is a, there is a, the state is behind it, our neighbor. Then there is a mirror, then there is a mirror, then there is a mirror. When you catch the falsified narrative, you don't know where it's coming from. It's one of the most sophisticated and most paid uh, operation against Pakistani narrative. I wish I could show you the amount of fraud they did. Teachers ki uh, teachers board range kiwa me. Teachers rights people. Edit kya niche se people speaking against atrocities in Pakistan. checks. That's how important. That's how. How much uh, you can suffer because of it. Next. Next. The problem with the civil service, pass the buck. If I don't open the file, I will not be what is responsible for it. Next. The problem is, without casting any doubts on anybody, your directors are more educated about Pakistan than you are. Worked with him. I was in Washington when he was there. I have no bones against him. But he knows the history and the geography of Pakistan on the back of his hand. You want to challenge him, you have to be one and a half times as good. 
people don't want to face them in NTV programs. Next. 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 ये हमने इनवाइट की थी पाकिस्तान स्पेशली उस वक्त कहा था रन एंड चेक ऑन हर वीजा वर गिवन यूर फोर्स टू विदाउट बैंक टू डिटेल ही वॉज देयर ये एंड शी हेज बिकम द मोस्ट वेनमस हेटर ऑफ पाकिस्तान शी इज सिटिंग इन जॉर्ज टाउन नेक्स्ट पीछे जान पीछे, so पीछे नहीं बेटे ऐसी तो जाओ, so you know I am not talking about exclusively Pakistani, but I firmly believe that we are we are we might have been wrong in policies on Kashmir, legally and morally you can't find find any problem with Pakistan stuff, and when she speaks out, बोल सा दो तीन एमेंट्स में स्पीक आउट की रेड का था इंस्टीट्यूशंस का बंदा था डीएचएम था ये बोलती रही इसके सामने कोई खड़ा नहीं हुआ शी इज बिन एवरीवेयर शी इज शी शेपिंग वाशिंगटन नेक्स्ट ऑफ दिस आर यू ऑल अवेयर ऑफ दिस पास्ट सॉरी ऑफ दिस पर्सन सो ही ही स्पेंट हिज लाइफ ही इज फ्रॉम कसूर He spent his life berating Pakistan. He is cancer now, but every time he wakes up, he abuses Pakistan. When I was in Toronto, he was in in full flow and मेरे ऊपर भी लिखता रहा वहाँ बैठ के. He is a sissy. UFT में ये जाता था इसको ऑडियंस मिलता था मैं स्टूडेंट्स एसोसिएशन को कहा यार गेट पे खड़े हो जाओ जब भी आते हैं. जब से इसको पता चला यॉर्क यूनिवर्सिटी जो है पाकिस्तानी कॉन्सुलेट के साथ बिल्कुल साथ है दीवारें मिलती है पीछे जो नया कॉन्सुलेट बने टोरटो जब इसको पता चला इसके खिलाफ नारे लगेंगे या पीपल विल स्पीक आउट या पीपल विल चैन भाग गया फ्यू पाकिस्तानी राइटर एंड टू और थ्री पीपल पीपल थॉट डेट ही गॉड द कंजर्वेटिव आर गोइंग टू मेन इन कैनेडा ट्रूडो इज Trudeau is probably in the, the federal elections he will go. Ontario has gone right, so you will see a lot of him again. इसको फिर refuge मिल जाएगा Toronto. इसकी आप बातें सुने, मैं यहाँ videos आपको चला के दिखाऊँ आपका दिल करेगा. You go into the screen and grab him by by, by his throat. Next, ये इसको नहीं आप जानते होंगे. ये North America में Pakistan को destroy करने वाले कुछ लोग हैं. Uh, this is an operation run by Uh, by a hostile countries famous intelligence agency three thousand dollars per person he berates Kashmir he is a Kashmiri has been born next Abdul Hamid Bashani Asif next Gora Tahir Gora they are running anti-Pakistan operations out of Toronto which means in North America so अगर आप मेरा दर्द समझ सके कि हम इनका मुकाबला करना कितना जरूरी है ये जो मैं आपसे बात कर रहा हूँ ये इसमें से अराइज करती है नेक्स्ट दिस आई हैव एक्सप्लेन नेक्स्ट वन टेक टू मच टाइम एक बात याद रखिएगा यू कैन नॉट फोर्ज अ कंसेंसस अबाउट एनीथिंग इन इन लाइफ यू नीड टू फाइंड सर्टेन डेडिकेटेड कोर ग्रुप ऑफ पीपल हु इन्फ्लुएंस नेशन हु इन्फ्लुएंस द वर्ल्ड सो नेवर थिंक यू कैन चेंज द मेंटालिटी ऑफ अ लार्ज Large group of people, you can't. Next, Iran and India got got scolded there. The, the, their Muslim Students Association and Punjab was stronger. Next, he has been royally. Now these people belong to different political parties. All due respect, he has been royally right. जब भी पाकिस्तान के चांस पे आए, he doesn't stand a chance. Next. Asian Pakistan controversial. Topic. If you so, the founder of Pakistan was very passionate, very passionate about this plan. This is 1946. This is the cabinet mission plan. 
the only the only Gora plan that he accepted in his life. And this is how you got Pakistan, the June 3 plan. And if you read the history books, he's just look at his face. Sir, he is ill and he didn't want to agree. Uh, I know it's, it would, if, I, if I were in a public place, they would start stoning me. But, uh, so when Mountbatten said, will you, this is June 3rd, will you agree to it? Nehru looked sad too. But he said yes, that's the best option in the circumstances. And then they all looked towards Jinnah. And Mountbatten says, I beg the gods that he says yes. And as history books reveal, he made a small nod. Didn't say yes, didn't say no. Just a millimeter's nod. But, next. The cabinet mission plan would have worked in his mind. This is his mind for the emancipation of all Muslims of India, right across provinces. It was a genuine confederal plan and it would have avoided something that was an anathema to him. Partition of Bengal and partition of Punjab. We didn't want that. I think the last line says it all. And, you're right. North Eaton, you can't create a country in 72 days and if this was a Pakistan, the June 3 plan, the June intellectual basis of it was give the give this man what he wants, they will come begging back to India. So when you have to discuss discuss Pakistan's progress as a nation, you must realize that the third June plan or your independence was not meant to last. It was supposed to fail. I wish I could tell you with historical markers as to where the state of Pakistan had to go, but maybe it's not time. Next. Next. So how did Pakistan survive? If it was financially unviable, if it had no money, if the defense assets were distributed in such a manner that the turret of a gun is at a place, the wheels are at another, you never got your defense shares. A uh, war on Kashmir was imposed on you immediately after, afterwards. Because you are doing intellectually honest things, there were, there were huge problems with Gandhi. Huge problems with Gandhi. But this man did fast. To give you, to get you 55 crores in those days, to give you, to ask Nehru and Patel to give you Pakistan's share of financial assets. And because of the fast, he was later assassinated by Gurdjieff. Okay, you do Pakistan ke baap ho ya hamare ho. We usually, we usually put Gandhi, Nehru, and Patel in the same boat and try to. They are not. Gandhi probably comes to Jinnah's level and one of the reasons why I think the mayhem took place was that Gandhi and Azad in 1947 were sidelined by Nehru and Pillay in terms of real quality. Next. So, so he, the, the cabinet, the Indian cabinet gave you the money. You were bankrupt. He gave his life, you got the money. Next, the Prime Minister of Hyderabad. You were bankrupt, he ran away. The US gave you funds. You survived in a year or so out of these two. But you were still going to fail in 1949. I mean, you didn't have the money. And there's no slide, but China went ahead with this idea of sovereignty and said, we will delink the Pakistani rule from the Indian and he initiated the State Bank of Pakistan, Zahra Sankhubla. People said that this is such a fun economic decision. You can't, you can't sustain a new currency in these, in these circumstances with no exports and all that. And then many authors said, next week, 
that a god fairy from above smiled on Pakistan. Pseudo Santos. Sir, Pseudo Santos is first, the Korean war. Korean war. Yes. Now, suddenly your jute, which nobody bought, and your cotton, which went into the dumps, yes, the prices rose four times. And they said, say that if this god fairy had not smiled on Pakistan, Pakistan might not have financially remained viable. I'll say, I'll still say that Pakistan would have survived because, because the people who were running Pakistan in those days, they took in as many refugees as India did with one-fifth of the area. They opened their hearts, they saw trains of blood, yet they would have survived because your cabinet secretary and your foreign secretary used Kante. Uh, for files, they used to have one desk in Karachi. If you, the, the the spirit of Pakistan would have taken you, taken you across, but hard finances tell you that these three things next. So there, there are certain myths about Pakistan. We are an iffy democracy. We are not a real democracy. Right? We are a democracy in the end quasi-democratic, we are a problematic state. Then, is Pakistan all of these two? When you open the home, uh, the home of a Pakistani, if Kashif goes there and opens his home, if I go there, I only have my 82-year-old mother and some people, do you find any semblance of any extremist thought in a Pakistani home? No. It's actually, it's actually very progressive. So, just because of certain historical trends you have had next week, labels, only state, whatever if the harsh was, the only state that restored its judiciary against non-democratic, semi-democratic rule on the street. Next. Next. This is probably two weeks ago. This is, I think, then it was government, no. The opposition and the government. Thousands in the heat of Lahore, Sawabi, they're out. Polarized. Polarized. At the same time, sir, we, we need to know that democracies have a very difficult, a difficult nascent period. You have to let the, let the noise, let the sound, and I agree with you. When I put the television on nowadays in the evening, many times uh, I get palpitation. Sometimes I can't sleep. People would say, Tumara kya kaam hai This is, I'll be buried in this country, nowhere else. Next. Pakistan is an iffy. Sabse bada ek myth mene Germany mein talk sab ek, ek conference in federalism ke upar last moment pe mujhe pata nahi academy se bhi. वहाँ उन्होंने ना एक चर्च में म्यूनिक में सारे दुनिया के लोगों को बुलाया था एंड दे हैड मार्कर्स पाकिस्तान टर्न्ड आउट टू बी अकॉर्डिंग टू द मार्कर्स दे हैड द सेकंड बेस्ट फेडरेशन इन द वर्ल्ड जर्मनी बीइंग वन बिकॉज़ ऑफ इट्स बिकॉज़ ऑफ इट्स थ्री टीयर स्ट्रक्चर वो जो तीन आए नेक्स्ट we ourselves don't realize it's a very, it's one of the very few states that have got real upper house parity, real upper house parity. And the 18th Amendment led to the largest, there are huge critics of the 18th Amendment. Some of us feel it's, everything is wrong, but it's my contention that it saved your federation, it saved your country. Uh, with all its pitfalls and everything, all its different ministries. This must have been discussed at the college. But next. And the way they hit at you abroad, inside Pakistan, the difference is that you have to be a little bit of a little bit of a little bit of a little bit of a little of us, some of us start believing it. You said that Pakistan means that it is a religion with a religion. This is a 
इस्लामिक सिर्फ पॉलिटिकल सिस्टम को एग्जिस्ट नहीं कर सकते थियोक्रेसी और मलायत नन ऑफ इट नन ऑफ इट इज ट्रू पांच प्रोविंस चार वेस्ट पाकिस्तान के एक ईस्ट पाकिस्तान ऑफ दैट टाइम उनके लिए एक फेडरेटिंग सिस्टम के अंदर मोहम्मद अली जना अटोनमी हुआ करता प्योरली वेस्टर्न वट एवर द स्ट्रीट वॉज से पाकिस्तान वॉज क्रिएटेड आउट ऑफ अ वेस्टर्न प्रिंसिपल ये वो अटोनमी मांग रहे थे ट्रूली फेडरल इंडिया में और उस इंडिया में सारे दिस वर्ड एक्चुअली डिफाइंस एवरी थिंग दैट जिना स्टूड फॉर नेक्स्ट ओवल ऑल कॉन्स्टिट्यूशनल प्रपोजल एंड लेट्स गो ऑन नेक्स्ट wrong it's 46 and this was what pakistan was about may 1946 se february 1947 tak delhi shimla london mohammad ali jinnah with his bad health went everywhere and fought not for a separate state during these months but for the acceptance of the cabinet plan which actually is the sort of pakistan that mohammad ali jinnah wanted so the only constitutional scheme he felt passionately about was that plan and that's what pakistan's essence is rights humanism federating units ki autonomy freedom jo kuch wo india ke liye chahte the wohi wo pakistan ke liye chahte the next ऑब्जेक्टिव रेजोल्यूशन जी इसने तबाही कर दी नेक्स्ट एंड नेक्स्ट एंड नेक्स्ट नेक्स्ट द ऑब्जेक्टिव रेजोल्यूशन हैड सम नोमन क्लेचरल नेमिंग इश्यूज सोवरेनिटी वुड बिलोंग टू अल्लाह अलोन एंड इट वुड बी प्रैक्टिस्ड बाय बाय द रिप्रेजेंटेटिव्स ऑफ द पीपल इट मींस नथिंग इट मींस it means yes there is there is a there is a nomenclature issue but that's all the other thing the other thing which is very very important is if objective resolution and the creation of pakistan was wrong why did pakistan have one of the best times in its economic and social development in the 50s and the 60s if if your if your construction was wrong you should have felt the storms then Why did you not feel them? The 60s are a golden period of Pakistan. Then there's there's something which all of us has imbibed, and there's a guest officer sitting here. You had more population in this area. You had less population in more areas. How would you create an upper house or a lower house? How would you fulfill it? And there were many next things, like plans and plans and plans. We we couldn't do it, but it had a lot to do with geography, geography and demography. Next, another lie. ये तारिक फतान यार बातियों ने फैलाई हुई है कि जी जना साइडेड विद द ब्रिटिश टू गेट यू अ सेपरेट स्टेट. मैं आपको एक घंटा एक एक इंस्टेंस बता सकता हूँ मैं जना ओपनली डिफाइड द रेस्ट. Actually fought with the rest at every juncture. But let's go to one of the founders of India. You know, he wrote a book called India Means Freedom. It was so scary that he said that the last 30 pages of this this book should be revealed 30 years after my death. 30 pages, 30 years. So, in that, there is no such thing. He said in that book that Muhammad Ali Jinnah was honest, and we were wrong. He was afraid of his. अब आप जब YouTube पे जाएंगे shortcut लगाएंगे आप आजाद को सुनने की कोशिश करेंगे तो एक मस्जिद में उनका खुतबा है जिसमें वो पाकिस्तान को बुरा भला कह रहे हैं. But this is the written word available in Pakistan. These सफेद के ऊपर स्टेरिक्स लिखे हुए जो उन्होंने छुपाए थे. Next. Just look at this picture. Sometimes a picture says a thousand words. without going into the gory details of the affair 
the Mount Patterns and the Nehru's were as close as this. And every day in 1946 and 47 tells you how Jinnah was left up. Next. Next, not important today. Another way. Had there been no uh, partition, Muslims would have been 25%. They are only 30% in India now. You see, there was a certain province and its people who decided not to take Jinnah's word. At least in the beginning, there was a bilateral exchange of violence. And suddenly, people did not pick up guns and start. I think hindsight is 2020, 20, and we had missed the bus along with that. We missed the bus because we felt bad. I feel bad because of uh, things that happened in 1971. But we never. And this man is known to be the one who was totally anti Pakistan, and he's telling you that the first 100,000. The violence was from a different gun. Next. Next is federalism remains. Pakistan's reality does not tell you whether it's earlier fundamentals. Ask a Britisher, is your state according to the ideals that it was created? Ask an American. Go to the Midwest. They abuse the Eastern Coast. Happiness Index 2020, we've gone down a bit. We are less happy, but at that time you are very happy. We are still happier than anybody else in South Asia. And this please, please remember this. Never let yourself believe that your geostrategic location is a bonus for you. It isn't. Had your state been where Australia and New Zealand are, and if you did not have a twin border situation, your state would have been different. So remember Pakistan's geostrategic position. Many of you will disagree. The revenge of the the revenge is a curse. We are cursed. We have to live with the curse. We have to live with the twin, twin border situation. And we have to be happy and be prosperous with it. But it's a curse. It is missing the bus of Central Asia. Or I hope CPEC doesn't fall that way. All of that. It's a huge challenge. Next. Next, next. Next. Another, so let's take Jinnah out. Pakistan was responsible for the millions who lost their lives in 1947. I've already told you that Pakistan's founder wanted things to be stable. And he thought that the cabinet mission plan would ease things out. This, um, this man is one of one of the most celebrated Indians in the world. He was the Advocate General of Maharashtra and he is the finest writer of the Indian Constitution. And before going away, he wrote a book. And in this book, he says that all bloodshed should lie at the feet of Nehru and Putin. And he gives page by page, date by date, and this book was published by ISPR about 17 years ago. And no, nobody read it. It's probably available in Pakistan for 50 rupees. But this is not written by a Pakistani. This, this, this is it. And it's one of the most important books that should be read by Pakistan. Next. the Red Cliff Award. Very good. The grandson discovered his father's chest of drawers. This is Beaumont, Mountbatten's Mount secretary at that time. And his father is writing, I feel guilty for one thing. On 16th of August, Lord Mountbatten went to Red Cliff at lunch time and did two things. He gave Ferozpur and Zira to India. And this is Mountbatten secretary. This is not me. He gave Ferozpur and Zira to India. And then he says, I'm pretty sure 
that Gurdaspur's one district that was to be given to India was finalized. He gives the time. 16, you know, what Pakistan will become or India will become after announcement. Why I am telling you all these things is we have gone into a phase of self-castigation. Okay, we have done some wrong things. But here, don't castigate yourself for every damn thing. Next. Very famous picture, Pakistan is in the heart of the White House. He was in the White House, then he left everything and left it. And they thought we'll have a car, we'll do a carpet bombing, sir, and destroy all of the tents. हम सबको मार देंगे। उसके बाद फिर हम हकानी नेटवर्क के ऊपर ऐसे टीम चलाएंगे अगर इनकी पाइशें पूरी हो जाएं। Next, किसी ने पूछा था कि यार जिन्ना से बेबली निकल से पूछा था कि रोटी नहीं मिलेगी, चीजें नहीं होंगी, पैसे नहीं होंगे। क्या करोगे ऐसे पाकिस्तान में? उसने कहा था कि अगर मैंने ब्रिटिश का कहा था, फ्रेंच का अगर तुम्हें रोटी ना मिले, तुम्हें पैसे कम मिले, क्या तुम आजादी छोड़ते होगे? Thousand bucks, million bucks, billion bucks से आजाद होना बेहतर है। And by the way, till 2013, it's a separate topic. We were doing better than everybody in South Asia and I must concede, sir, your, your great country is doing very well. But till 2013, we were, the, the, the clock shifted. It's another topic, if you ask. Okay, why did the clock shift in 2013? Next. I mean, you, you can't dispute this. I have asked American colleagues, British colleagues, Afghan colleagues. I said, look, were we ever wrong about Afghanistan? This picture just tells you about numerous documented consultations between the American and the Pakistan armies where we have made the point you cannot sustain an artificially created Afghan National Army, it will fall to pieces. Documented chizen. How many trillions did you waste? How many able-bodied Afghans did you kill? Agar kabhi aapko himmat ho padne ki, to ek, uh, ek, uh, एक यूनिट का जिक्र है, एक बड़े फेमस मैगज़ीन में मेमोरी टेल्स भी, जो यूनिट, I know it will jar you, जिसकी स्पेशलिटी होती थी, they used to cut the thumbs of the Taliban and keep them as trophies in jars. Rolling Stone का फेमस आर्ट, कितने जुल्म, कितना ब्लड, और आखर में आपको हमेशा पाकिस्तान के अंदर था इंक्लूसिव गवर्नमेंट लाओ Pashtuns ko nikaal ke, you cannot have peace, you ridiculed us. Akani network, ye karte ho, wo karte ho. So, jab mokha hai, after having spent so much, they fell like a house of cards. And remember, we are not entirely happy. We still, we still having problems. But we are, we are better off than an Ashraf Ghani, who is opening a second border against us, whose NDS wants to kill us every second day. Yes, we have problems with them. We have border, border skirmishes, we have other things. But they are not overtly anti-Pakistan. You will have to live with them. You would not have had them had you included moderate Pakhtuns in 2004. Musharraf begged. I was, uh, I was in Washington. Next, next year. Uh, this is a lesson from Pakistan. When you are doing well, when a state is doing well democratically, do not tinker with it. It happens with great difficulty that your state, your that your state is climbing up a path. Do not have grandiose schemes that we will do an experiment, we will get him and get him out. Look where you are today. It will stabilize. Pakistan will stabilize. But it will, it will take Qurbanis now. We, 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 we won't go down. We won't. We, we have that inside us. 
Next. I don't want to show his face, but he fell in. Next. So, in 2018, you were on an upslope up, 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 up before Panama struck you. Next. Again, only a few people, few like-minded people in the right places are important to fight the battle of cause. You, you don't need everybody. Next. This, this is very important. Every place you go, he has a relatively better Pakistani diaspora, better in the terms well said, some asylees. Barcelona was very bad. Oman is relative, 300,000. You cannot go anywhere, I'm talking about foreign embassies, until you open your doors and heart and your arms towards the Pakistani who doesn't smell well, who has sweaty clothes, and who cannot or did not get to use a deodorant. Next. We must drain back. Next. All of us, whatever age we are, we need to do these four things well. We need to, even if they are going to become a general, or even if Dr. Saab is going to become the foreign secretary, you need to have the best vocabulary for Pakistan, not for your sake, not for showing off. You need to touch tight because you won't have a PA every time you want to go somewhere. You must be read. You must read a lot. Without books, you are a, you are a dead tree. All of us want to read our official things, the telegrams. If you don't read about Pakistan, about what's happening in the world, how can you do it? And speak well, I don't mean debates. In the academy, when I went there. You need officers who can express themselves well in a small setting. Next. Yes, I thought, I am nobody to advise you. And some of the th books, if you get a chance in life, at least you should read some chapters of them. This book is out of print, the best book written on Pakistan. I have already told you, uh, this was written by Pakistan's Prime Minister later on, initially the Secretary General of Pakistan Civil Service from the Auditing Council, Chaudhary Muhammad Ali. And this, you need to read Jaswan Singh's book because although it is somewhat biased, but it brings Jinnah out in its, in its true, true humanity. And Jaswant Singh Saab, who was one of India's best foreign ministers, paid for his career, thrown out for writing this book. I have told you about Azad's book, available in Pakistan, pirated edition, 210 rupees. Next. This is a book by an eminent Bangladeshi political scientist. Why is it important to read? It's important to read for Pakistanis because they should realize why the Pakistani state could not remain one despite the despite the distances and despite demography, despite an enemy, you still could have said. Our initial people who were leaders of Pakistan in the beginning. They did not know the meaning of the word federal. Everybody had a different word. You are better now. So, this is a very small book by Karen Armstrong. He is easily available. It's a letter to Pakistan. It's, it's something, it's an advice given to the people of Pakistan. This book is important because we think that, that Iqbal's picture with Jinnah is a fix. I don't know whether we don't have Iqbal. We have, only have Jinnah. Because of his poetry, no. Iqbal is not the co-founder of Pakistan because of his poetry. Iqbal is the co-founder of Pakistan because of seven letters he wrote before his death to Muhammad Ali Jinnah, in which he said, if you don't get out of your Hampstead residence in London, God save the Muslims of India. And they are direct admonishing letters and praising letters and endearing letters, seven. Total pages 13, 1, 3. We must read them. Next. 
one of the best books on the history of Pakistan. Don't don't go, don't go, don't take this word. Shujaan Nawaz Sahib's book, which must be mandatory learning, at least the mandatory part of the NDU, is a great book. But it's a very very dense book to read about the wars. This is pretty simple. If you don't read anything else, read this. Shujaan Nawaz's other book, this one, The Battle for Pakistan. It is a very good book to understand the vicissitudes of Pakistan's relations with the U.S. in the last 13, 14 years, written from a perspective. Why did I book this this book here? So, if you recall these two husband and wife authors, they wrote one of the most anti-Pakistan book on Pakistan's nuclear program. It's called Deception. How we got a nuclear program together. So why am I recommending this book with these two big names written on it? Because they say in this book that it is widely believed that the ISI carried out, always carried out tough kinetic operations. Whereas the research and analysis wing was more sophisticated than other things. They, after researching, they say, if at all, non-state actors have more been promoted by our country next door. Again, this has gone. Nobody in Pakistan has even written a review of it. So there, sometimes there are books that that do tell you what the reality. And this is a must read. This is a must read. You know, they have. Kashmir mein renegade groups kaise banaye, kaise banaye, anti-Pakistaniya kitni zada hai. Why Nations Fail is not a good book because it tells you about why nations fail. It's a good book because although it doesn't say in the heading, it tells you how nations succeed. This is what the book is about. Topic us ne catchy rakh diya. Masterpiece. Dense, but now if you can get a Harvard summary from somewhere, it will do. So the lesson is, do not invest in individuals, invest in institutions. Simple one like this. Next. These were just some stray thoughts I thought I would share with you. Because if I would not have heard them today, I might never have met you again. So this was this and uh, thank you for listening. In an afternoon, in a hot afternoon in Oman, after having been through so many things. And if you have any questions and anything under the sun to ask me, I am standing in front of you. Questions, please. Yes, but it's all about Thakki and Sir, it's been about that, about that, yeah. The first throw thing that we're going to do is the most important thing. Although, you know, you have to do the syndicate system and all the other things. اگر but is there any failure story, it's a kind of audit, where did we go wrong? For example, in 75 years, who ruled mostly this country in terms of governance? And then, is there any audit? If, for example, this country was meant for a certain ideals, you know, will, will become this, uh, in terms of economy, in terms of politics, in terms of... Sir, I have a very good question. And sir, the question is, if you have political governance leaders, you have to hire them, there is an election system, you have to hire them from economic leaders from grassroots level. Elect them. Because political leaders don't understand the economy. Do you understand? Two things. Pakistan's history is very complex. And for 75 years, it's not dark. 
जो हमारे फॉर्मर प्राइम मिनिस्टर और एक खास पोलिटिकल पार्टी के नारा लगाते हैं सत्तर साल की नाकामियों को आप तीन महीने में या तीन साल में कैसे पाकिस्तान सत्तर साल तो नाकाम था ही नहीं इन द फिफ्टीज एंड सिक्सटीज यू आर जोरियस पार्ट्स ऑफ सेवेंटीज यू आर जोरियस कोई हायर वायर नहीं हो सकता यू हैव टू लिव विद द पीपल यू हैव एंड ट्राई टू डू वट वी है try to do with the people here. next is okay mr investor my question is about uman that so that's what i thought would be most part main bada mushkil kaam kar rahi hu but you get anything about it so i i will bluntly ask you sir uh-huh. sir how do you see oman how do you see its diaspora how do you see its relation with pakistan how do you see the you know what are the chances of of uh, our collaboration in different departments because oman has a very pivotal role in the region sir. I use my prerogative to go beyond the world. 